Alrighty you guys, so we're going to be starting this look off bare face with a nude lip liner pencil. You can use any light color lip pencil or eyeliner pencil to map out the part that you want to be all bloody and gory. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Finish Foundation and a mineral buffing brush from IT Cosmetics. To set my face, I'm using a big fluffy brush and the NYX press powder and banana. Now I'm going to be taking this blush palette that I found at the dollar store, go me, and I'm going to be mixing the dark red with the rusty brown to get that perfect dead red color. You're going to fill in the entire area that you have mapped out. And the brush I'm using here is like a $3 eyeshadow brush from One Wild. It works really well though. Using the black and dark brown from the Makeup Revolution, I'm going to be shading in the edges, but I later discovered that you need to color the whole face so that when you add the blood, it'll look more realistic. Using the same lip liner I used in the first part, I'm going to be creating the little wrinkles around the edges. You'll see me putting my fingers up to my face a lot because I'm just trying to make sure that it's going to look as realistic as possible. Once I have all my little wrinkles mapped out, I'm going to be taking the same dark brown color from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to be adding a little shadow underneath each line. The, the darker you shade the lines, the deeper the wrinkles are going to look. The amount of space you draw between one line and the other also plays a big factor into it because that's the part that's going to be highlighted. So if your lines are too close together or too far apart, it'll make it look less realistic. To actually add the highlight, I'm going to be using this cream concealer from NYX Cosmetics in the lightest shade that they have, and a flat angled brush. I'm going to be placing this color right on top of the dark spots so it's going to give it that nice highlight and it's going to give it more of a 3D effect. Going back in with that black from the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to be darkening up some spots to give it more depth and dimension. Part that I was talking about earlier. In order to make it look more realistic when you put the fake blood on top, you're going to want a dark base from eyeshadow, not a light one. And that was my mistake, so I'm going to end up coloring my whole face black before I put the Ouija blood on top. And for this blood, I got it at Party City around Halloween time, but I believe they carried this type of stuff year round. lining my eyes with a black eyeliner and of course you can use the eyeliner of your choice as long as it's black. Maybe even red could pass. And for my lips I'm going to be using the Tarte Liquid Lipstick with the matte finish in the shade TBT. And once your lipstick is on, your look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm going to be doing a lot more gory looks on my channel because I haven't done many at all. I think I have like one or two. Um, but I really like uh, doing gore and like just out of the ordinary makeup. So should be doing more of those videos. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Add me on Facebook so we can be friends. All of those links will be down below. And make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys in my next video.